In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can build and deploy full-scale AI applications using only one app called Replit. Now, if you're not familiar with Replit, as you can see, I'm actually recording this in OBS in Germany right now because I'm in Germany, I'm in Frankfurt, doing the community meetup. You can ask it to do things, you can design pretty much anything you want to, and it will do all the back end, all the specifics for you so that you can develop any application. What's a good example of that? Well, look, I built this in like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I wanted a map that showed me the best coffee places in Leeds City Center. Guys, it gives me everything it wants. And basically, I'll even show how it works. It's pretty wild how this works, actually. You can come down, you can plan your coffee routes, you get all the coffee shots by ratings, you can rate them yourselves. You can even have, guys, a login and log out functionality. So they can have user bases. And the really cool thing about Replit is the fact that you can actually have database storage within Replit. So you can actually save login information, other things, meaning that you don't need to use multiple applications to build your apps. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I'm gonna show you how we can build our Replit. So we're gonna build an example one together, show you exactly how it works, you can build it yourself. And then I'm also gonna show you how you connect that to make.com. So whether you wanna to go to your own databases, maybe you wanna send off automations, it's a really, really, really cool tool for building something in a conversation style chat window that can do many things. So they give you a few examples here, like local landmark apps, stock analysis, waitlist websites, discover books, AI chat, Lincoln Bios is a really cool one, uh, Ray Tracer and Statistical Significance Calculate. Now guys, from this page, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Number one is come to the homepage, enter any prompt that you like to. For the purposes of this, I'm gonna take one of their existing ones, their Lincoln Bio prompt for a coffee shop because you know, we love our coffee over here on the Jack Roberts YouTube channel and I'm gonna make a slight amendment to it to give you something really interesting, okay? So you're gonna click on try the prompt for Lincoln Bio, okay? Make a Lincoln Bio app which presents all my social accounts in easy, intuitive, aesthetic interface. Use a random image profile picture, place all for now. Do you know what, let's do something better. Let's use the attached coffee shop logo. Add a request information field. And give their email address this data is then sent to this webhook, okay? And then guys, we're gonna head over to make.com. So make.com, we basically get a new a new page and we're gonna open webhooks over here. I'm gonna call this one custom webhook. Beautiful, let's add a new webhook. We're gonna call this one, let's see, the German takeover. And we're calling it the German takeover because I am in Frankfurt right now for the community meetup. So it only feels appropriate that we call it the German takeover. Excellent, and then we're gonna copy this address to the clipboard and we come straight back over. By the way, don't ask me to do this video in German just yet. I'm brushing up on the strength of that. Uh, and then the image for the logo, boom. And then we're just gonna control V and voila, it's done it. So what have we done? We've done text in one window with the image and all we're gonna do guys is hit start building. Yes, we agree, it's, it's, it's an experimental product. It's just the beginning and click continue. Now, the way this works, which I think is really interesting, is that like, it's got like this really cool agentic flow behind the scenes where it tries to understand, and as you'll see in a second, it will build out like a load of tasks that it thinks it needs to do based on the questions that you've asked it. So check this out. It's got a thing there, then it begins to think. Now you'll know from a channel that I've covered things on this like, you know, building a front end with card and then having an AI web application in that, that you can then design with code and implant in it. I've covered things like full end-to-end -end AI SaaS products, okay? So when would you use Replit? And I'll give you the TL, the bottom line of it. Replit is great, it has a few quirks, but I'll explain why we'll use this in a second. Let me just show you what we're seeing here, okay? Look, I'm working on a detailed plan for your Lincoln Bio app using Flask and vanilla JavaScript. The initial prototype will include your social media links, the coffee shop logo, and a contact form that sends data to a specified webhook. Pretty flipping cool, right? Let me know if you'd like to proceed with this in the plane or any modifications. Now look at this, guys. This is cool. First thing it does is build the initial prototype. Then it says, hey, would you like any other additional features? Like, hey, add analytics to track links, implement a simple admin panel to easily update social media links, add custom themes or color schemes of personalization, and integrate social media APIs to display live follow accounts. That is crazy. Now, you can obviously click all of them or add your own. I'm just gonna say, look, let's give me a custom theme decider and I'm happy with that. And then we approve the plan and it begins. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is develop this prototype of the app for us. And I'm gonna to chat to you a little bit while this is working in the background to tell you what I found from it. Now, I love the fact that it shows you exactly the code that's unfolding as it happens, just to give you some knowledge and understanding about how this stuff actually works. And like, we are like literally at the point now where we're coding with language. As you can see, it's on the first bit, it's now creating the template, which is excellent. Now, when would you use this? If you just wanna, build an AI 
web application with not getting any of the subscriptions that you could deploy yourself just from prompt, a conversational app window like this, um, that you can build anything you want to, this might be an option that you want to explore. But you can get around this many other ways. You can do things in this like having users create, you know, their login sections and dashboards and stuff. Um, you may find if you want to get better design, I'd recommend that you do use a front end develop web, developing website like Card or WordPress for the time being if design is really important to you because you can get it by coercing this, but sometimes it's just a little bit quicker to make those changes yourself. As you see in my other videos, that work with this kind of um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But the fact that you can get something live and operational super quickly, I think is nothing short of amazing. Now let's see what we've got here. We've got coffee shop links. We've got this logo, so it hasn't brought through our logo, but that's cool, it's done a really good job. And we can pick everything that we want to. Now let's look at this, okay, so look, is the coffee shop links website learning correctly? Can you see the social media links and the contact form? So we come down and what we're gonna say is, yes, we can. Uh, could you please use the logo we provided. And what I'm also gonna do guys is just test, uh, let's say Jack, uh, my email and say, howdy. And let's just see if this has, and I'm, I'm really impressed with this, sent over the information. So look, this is trying to determine a data structure. If I say send, okay. So it's not allowed anything yet. That could just be because it hasn't developed yet, okay. So can you please do with the logo provided? Let's just copy this one more time just for its benefit. Now let's come back over. Um, the form is not sending over the data to the webhook. I'm just gonna say also improve the font, design, and everything else. Keep it very broad for a moment so we can actually design everything that we need to. Awesome. And then it thinks. I like the way that it runs in a kind of really logical, sequential manner. It's not kind of all over the place. You can really see what it's doing and how it's working. And I guess like, the levels they've gone to in the background to make sure that a system like this works. And what you're seeing on this video, guys, is the worst it will ever be. It will only ever continue to get better. And the cool thing about Replit is that they host everything. They take all the database, they take all the files, they'll host everything. That means it's just literally this conversational window, and then it sits in a browser and it's so, so sick. So let's see where we can get to with this one. So now look, it understands our concerns. It's working on implementing the changes that we requested, including the logo, fixing the forms of mission, and improving the overall design and functionality. I will update you once these improvements are in place. Okay, incredible. Then you can see it's thinking in the background and it just shows you all of the aspects it's done. The other cool thing with this, guys, is you can actually share this with other individuals and they themselves can collaborate with you on developing these apps. So they can be hosted and posted. Uh, hosted and posted, oh my goodness, and just kick some butt with it. Cool, if the website is linked correctly with a new design, include the logo image, update color scheme, and improve layout. Cool, so the logo we lost, okay. We've got basically a different design, which I'm not quite happy with, but again, we can be specific with that. And then we've got a contact us form, so let's just do this one by time. My name, my email, and we'll call this one howdy, and then we'll click send at the bottom. Sending, form submit successfully, and do we see it over here? We do, so successfully determined means that the webhook has received data. So let's do this one more time, okay, click okay run this one once, come back over to Replit now, and let's do the same thing again. Hey, good looking, what's cooking? Beautiful, send that one off, sending, sent, and we come back over, and guys. So, what's happened here? Name, email, but it hasn't actually gotten the message, right? So let's just try that one more time, just to make sure that it's not bugging out. Sending, send over, come back over here, and it's all empty. Okay, cool, so what do we say? We'll just say the design is worse, go with white background. The form is sending over data in the correct format. However, it is not carrying, it is not posting any of the content. The logo is not showing. either. And what would be cool, like maybe, there we go, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I just say, improve the UI of the buttons. Beautiful, hit enter. And guys, and basically anytime you're developing any AI web application, this essentially is the process where you're going back and forth and giving it suggestions and guidance to build the thing that you actually need to do. But here's a crucial thing, once it fixes this, we'll be able to get data from our AI web form when you'll see what it looks like in a second into make. Once it's in make, we can do anything we want to. We could access our own databases. We could 
uh, leverage any number of AI applications that we wish and send the data straight back over to uh, the automation. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you a very simple email automation that we can do off the back of it. And it's gonna be excellent. Now, the other thing that you can do with Replit that you that may surprise you is you can actually ca you know connect to the OpenAI API within Replit, which means if I say, hey, I want a dynamic chat window, it'll say, awesome, can you give me your OpenAI API key? Which means that we can then just build these chatbots within Replit, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so round two, it's improved the UI for us. Let's just give it my name, email, and a message once more. Come over to make.com, run this one once. We come straight back over and click send. Let's see if that's sending. It said it's been sent successfully. Let's wait for the webhook to land and no data's coming. Oh, it is. Cool, guys. Oh, would you look at that, man. Approved, the email, the message, incredible. Then what we could do really simply is just say, I don't know, we could add like a chat GPT module on there. Like, let's just say we want to create completion. We come down, let's just select a method. Could be something like uh, model, GPT-4 assistant, messages, I don't know, system, message content. Hey, write a nice welcome email for this person based on this message. I can say my business is a coffee shop. By the way, guys, worst prompt in the world. I just want to show you like an example of the output of like <laughs> what it could be. Instead of system, let's just go down to user apologies. Max token is going to be zero. And this one's going to be Gmail. Uh, click on send an email. Beautiful. And what we do, guys, recipient, click on the add. Email address is simply going to be the email. Subject's going to be, hey, welcome. And then the content could be just a result of this. And then we've come back over and said the contact form works, but the logo is not visible. I understand the logo is not visible. It's working on a fix for us. Incredible. And guys, you can just get the idea now that basically how this sort of works, we launch it. Now, once this is done, we're going to publish it. So it's live and we could do all the different things and pretty much anything that could be coded, we could do here. I've just, I did a contact form as an example, but in reality, you can do anything that you want to with this application. And guys, like if you check out the last one I did, for example, right, you basically, you deploy it, you get this cool domain and you can get your own domains and do different things. And you can get this login section. So I let people create accounts. And obviously I did this in a couple of minutes. You can imagine we can do just like literally 30, 40, 50 minutes. They can log in, create accounts, registers, and it stores all that information. So it literally remembered my exact login details. So you could literally have now a system where people create accounts, they log in, they access any application that you want to, and it's so easy to throw in even payments on top of that if you so wanted to. So I'm gonna come back over, let's see what it's doing, it's presenting to the user, it's doing a little bit more thinking, uh, and then we'll see exactly how it's finished. And this one, guys, it's basically done the Avenir font upgrades, which is excellent, we've got a dark theme, we've got more themes now, we've got ocean themes, we've got, oh, this is crazy, but you basically get the concept of it. Now, when we're happy with this, what do we do? We basically say, hey, all looks good. Publish it, okay? And once it's done, we'll then be able to view this and have a link that we can share and do various other things. So this is now finalizing the details and the bits for his autumn theme. What do we think about autumn theme? Okay, there you go. So look, it's complete the plan successfully. The following steps were executed. Do we think it's good, not good? And then we can publish it. So in the top right here, we click on deploy like so, and then we have a few different options that we can do. Based on your own particular use cases, just pick the style of deployment that you want. You can read through and see which ones are best for you. And we click on set up your deploy deployment. I ask for a primary uh, domain, so we can just make a random one here. So we'll just call this one Coffee Linkers Magoo Germany. And so for instance, we might add some hyphens in between these, and then it will check to see. Cool, it seems like it's available. And the pricing is $12.80 per month. And that's basically how you do this because it's based on all the bots it runs. Here are all the deployment secrets, that's cool. Web server, background worker, and then we just hit this deploy down by here at the bottom like so. Once we're happy with it, now it's going to provision, build, bundle, promote, uh, all this beautiful cycle so you can see full, fully transparently everything that's happening. Then once this is done, we're gonna quickly run through that and test it to make sure that it's working properly. And of course, guys, if you wanna know all the agents, the blueprints, the guides, you can check out my school community for everything from building an AI SaaS from the very beginning all the way through to the part of the, you know, the way you can actually monetize it and start generating income. In the classroom, we've got loads of materials in there that you probably find really, really helpful to help you level up your AI automations game from zero to hero and beyond. And we've got lots of cool people. We do, um, we do masterclasses every Friday. So we've had Facebook ad experts, LinkedIn, 
we've had prompt engineering. It's been like, honestly, every Friday, it's like, oh my goodness, it's like, it's wonderful. Okay, now this is just finishing. We're just waiting for this to load up in the background. And guys, once that's finished, it then hits production and we can actually check out exactly what this looks like. And guys, then we open it up into a new window. We can check out our make now this scenario is running and we come back over. So we've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. We can provide our URLs for that. We'll try the contact form. So we'll say, hey, it's Jack Roberts. Email is this. And we'll say, hey, uh, I would like to order, I don't know, something like 200, 100 bags of coffee beans. Thanks. Awesome, I'm hit send. Sending, sent, form submit successfully. Obviously we can change and customize the font, the contrast, that sort of stuff. And we come back over, the webhook's picked everything up. Let's see what we've got there. I'd like 100 bags of coffee beans. Thanks, let's see what ChatGPT created for us. Let's have a quick look. We come down to the message. 100 bags of our premium coffee beans has truly made our day. We pride ourselves and blah, blah, blah. You come down. Loads of stuff. Obviously, the prompt was terrible, but the idea is now we sent an email off the back of that. So essentially, we've got our own web page, we've got a contact form, we've connected it to Make, and essentially, we can do anything. If you had a few more minutes with this, you would work on troubleshooting to get the logo a bit fixed, and then we'd add our links in. And essentially, guys, that is the entire process in a nutshell. I can't wait to see what you build with Replit and your own particular thoughts on it. But in any case, guys, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video.